right, it's morning. I got a bunch of floaters to cut over at Jay Blake's shop. This is the shop. Getting ready for September 8th, I think it is. Uh, divisionals up in New England Dragway. This is the car. Top alcohol funny car, driven by Phil Burkhart, Jr. There's a lot to it. 4,000 horsepower. So with 4,000 horsepower, it's hard to get the tires to stick when you leave the line. So the clutch is one of the most important things on the car. Help it go down the track. It'll slip and finally lock up right now. Working on some transmission parts. There's a blower hat, manifold. So, but today I'm going to cut clutch floaters. And they go, they're basically plates that go in the clutch. And they're designed to be sort of sacrificial. When they get done with a pass, they're really toasty hot. This is the Van Norman. And this Van Norman. Basically, that's what you use to resurface them. We call them cutting the floaters. So, I need to get started with it. Um, let me see, where do I go? So, initially, I'll show you a few things. You might not be able to see it, but these two tubes, water comes down here, and then it's pumped back up. And it shoots out right here. And that's what cools down the floater as you're cutting it. Here's the wheel the emery stone that uh, does the cutting. This opens and unlocks this, allows it to swing right here. This is uh, raises and lowers the uh, stone. This stresses the stone right here. Comes down, diamond tip goes underneath here and resurfaces the tip. And uh, obviously that's the table. So in here, is one of the floaters. This is what they look like after a pass. They don't look too pretty. They look all burned up because they are all burned up. So my job is to cut this so both sides are flat to a tolerance of two thousandths of an inch. So what I got to do is get this machine running. So I'll come back. So before I get going, I've got to check the gear oil in the, uh, in the table. Sorry about the camera. i to figure out how to do this at the same time in video. So, pretty straightforward. I take the plug out. And then this is my gauge. Drop it down. See what I got. Could use a little bit more. So I put regular gear oil. Well, this isn't actually regular. This is a race shop, so right now we're using uh, Lucas heavy duty high performance. Not that it's necessary, but that's what we had sitting around here, so I grabbed it. Let's see if I can get this cap off with one hand and just put a little bit in. should be enough for that. Put this back where it belongs. Okay, so I know that's all set. I'm going to raise the stone up a little bit. Right here. 
and let me turn it on, turn the table on. Get things warmed up a little bit. So now we got a used floater right here. And I'm measuring it to see how thick it is. Right now it's uh here, 32, 323. Uh, we don't go down farther than 300. And so, uh, you know, 300 of a thickness of the plate. It doesn't work the same if you start getting it too thin. So measure it first. When I cut it, if I have a, if I measure one and it's, uh, what is it, 310? Um, I won't cut it because by the time I'm done cutting it's below 300 so stop the wheel with the tip turn table got the disc in it's good so I'm going to get myself a pair of safety glasses
take the wheel, bring it back up, unlock it, turn it over, and I'll take the wheel that's just in here. So it's just a pop, and there's the, uh, uh, the First side I've cut, and as you see, I'm leaving some stuff here. I'm leaving some here. That'll be on my final cut. So what I'll do is I'll pull this up, clean off the table, put it back down, dress the wheel, and then uh, start cutting this side here. And I'll get that. Okay, I flipped it over. I'm on the other side. hatching I call it diamonds get some nice diamonds in there and uh, this is how I check it we got a nice flat table with a uh, <laughs> a measuring device just to check it for flatness I gotta let you know now I'm not a machinist I uh, I just love anything fast and powerful and Jay Blake has a top alcohol funny car and I'm helping him out so all right, so basically I test it by, I check it by just going around. And I'm allowed to have about two thousandths of an inch difference. And I'll go through the whole stone. I mean, the whole stone. I can't do this and hold the phone at the same time. But uh, basically, I just rotate it, make sure everything is within tolerance. And then I've already measured the thickness. We started out with 3.3. Now we've cut it down to uh, 312. So I mark it and I put it in a tote here. 
numbers up top, and then at the track when the guys are putting together the clutch packs, all they have to do is uh, go in, find the numbers, add up all the numbers, and make it the uh, thickness or the yeah, to basically get the clutch all set up with the right thickness and everything, and um, that's it. So basically, this is what I'm doing today. Each one takes a half hour and 45 minutes. But uh, as I say, it's very important for the track going, I mean the car going down the track. So I've got another six to do. I'll be here for at least another six hours doing it. But once they're done, it's a done deal. So after I get done with it, they're ready to go down the track. Uh, five second run over 250 miles an hour. And uh, that's it. Thanks for watching. I hope this was interesting for you.